That's 2% drive. Okay, we've got the motor in. This could be a bad idea, let's see. 0.3% and the locomotive crawls. Very slowly, I might add. Forty percent. Well, that, uh, that broke the gear. <laughs> to be completely fair, I'm amazed that this worked as long as it did, considering it's got a 3D printed geek sprocket in there. I mean, the mounting bracket was temporary and 3D printed, and the gear... <laughs> this is just PLA with 60% infill on triangle infill. <laughs> and the... The mounting bracket is definitely wrong for this. <laughs> but, uh, oh wow, it actually cracked the PLA. That's impressive. <laughs> oh man, that's, uh, that's good. Yeah, the objective was to see if this motor worked, and it worked. It moved me backwards and forwards at 100%, and uh, it didn't have too much hesitation moving me, but now the uh, <laughs> it's not in very good shape. I mean, this probably I could snap off at this point with how loose the... Yeah, there we go. And then just take the... Uh... <laughs> there we go. It wasn't very firmly in there. 3D printer plastic is kind of impressive sometimes. And here's the sprocket I 3D printed. <laughs> it worked long enough. There we go. There's the sprocket and yeah, it's a it's a little snapped. Just enough for it to slip around to the uh, hex shaft we got here on this motor. And this is the way I've configured it. So it's a 5,600 RPM motor with a 15 to 1 gear ratio. Not too bad. So <laughs> it worked. It worked good enough. And that's what I needed. <laughs>